Hey everybody and welcome to this Astro Alert for June and July 2013 and the Mercury retrograde cycle that we're in, in the sign of Cancer. So I figured this was probably a good opportunity to demystify Mercury retrograde a little bit for y'all because Mercury retrogrades get a very bad rap because they can be, admittedly, fairly uncomfortable. However, they are so important and valuable to the process of us unfolding into higher levels of consciousness. I think that it would be a good idea for those of you who are curious about all of this to understand a little bit more deeply what a Mercury retrograde is actually designed to do for you and then take advantage of it at a more profound and deep level. So let's start with just retrograde motion in general. All planets go retrograde, meaning all planets appear at some point in their orbit relative to the Earth to stop moving in the sky, to look like they're moving backwards, and then to stop moving the sky and start moving forward again. Now this isn't really happening in space, but it does look that way. For a, a good visual of this, if, you, if visual is, is a, a way you learn, go to the internet, go to Google, Google up Mercury retrograde animation and you will find dozens of uh, visual um, uh, aids <laughs> to sort of show you what this looks like and why the planets appear to be doing this. Just for the sake of this, you know, piece of communication, let's just except the fact that it is an optical illusion, it does appear to be moving backwards, there's an archetypal and energetic interpretation to that moving backwards, and that's what we're going to focus on right now. Mercury, because of its close proximity to us and its very rapid speed around the Sun, goes into a retrograde cycle with actual clock-like precision. Every 88 days, for 22 days, Mercury goes retrograde. It's kind of like the, oh, now I'm dating myself here, uh, you know, in, a, in an old watch works that you wound, there was a, a, a winding spring in the middle and the watch would cease to function properly unless that, that spring was wound up. And in a way, Mercury's retrograde cycle is a little bit like that inner winding, that inner integration that needs to occur in order for the entire system to function more effectively. And Mercury rules the mind. So if the mind of us needs to, on a regular basis, turn inward in order to integrate all of the information it's been collecting as we move through time and space, that's a good thing, albeit a potentially uncomfortable thing. So understand this about Mercury retrograde, that it's an integrative process that must occur and the more deeply and sort of gracefully you allow for this process to happen, the more value and benefit you will get out of it and therefore the higher level of consciousness you will attain in your journey. So Mercury is right now in the sign of Cancer and will retrograde in Cancer. And if you've been following my posts, you know that June and July are very important in the world of the archetype of Cancer because it's activating this Grand Water Trine that's going on. And the purpose of the Grand Water Trine is to help us heal emotional wounds at a deeper level. And what better tool to have at our disposal than our minds in the sign of the watery, nurturing, and comforting Cancer, turning inward in order to have a deeper, more profound experience of that integrating of wounded stuff that's being healed. So, what people generally don't know about Mercury retrogrades is that there are two additional parts of the cycle that come before and after the actual retrograde motion that are very important in order to take advantage, to know about, in order to take advantage of what's possible here. The first of these is the what's called the retrograde shadow, which is the period of time that Mercury is still moving direct but he's moving over the territory that he's going to revisit during the retrograde cycle. And that began yesterday on June 9th. So the retrograde actually starts on June 26th, 
So that means that between June 9th and June 26th, everything that happens to you, every conversation you have, every thought you think, every engagement of your mind is likely to be revisited during the retrograde cycle between June 26th and July 27th in order for the information that's been presented to you to be integrated at a deeper level. So this first shadow period, the retrograde shadow period between now, June, June 9th, today's June 10th, and June 26th, keep your eyes open. Watch what's coming up. Be mindful of the issues and thought patterns and the mental experiences that are presented to you over this next three weeks or so because they are going to be the, the sort of fodder for what is being deeply processed during the retrograde period. So that retrograde period is between June 26th and July 20th and that's the sort of uh, that's the crucible time. That's when Mercury appears to be moving backwards in the sky and our experience of our mind will be turned inward, not outward. And it's this inward turned mind that sometimes creates the chaos and havoc that Mercury retrograde cycles bring up because we are less able to pay attention to our outside world because we're focused on our inside world. So often our outside world winds up being things that we trip upon, right? But if we know that that's happening and we're mindful of it and we allow for the mind's eyes inward turn to be the more prominent way we go about our life, those three weeks of retrograde cycle are not going to be so challenging if we simply allow for what's actually happening to actually happen, right? So then there's a third piece of this, which is what's called the direct shadow. That's after Mercury turns around and begins moving directly again, but he's now covering the same territory he's covered now two separate times for the last pass, saying, all right, we got the lay of the land in the first part, we went inward during the second part and kind of mechanized things around and about, and now in this last pass over the same territory, now's the knitting together into conscious upgrade, if you will. That's what's happening in the um, direct shadow between July 20th and August 4th. So you basically have a two month period of really profound emotional healing. And this Mercury retrograde cycle is going to assist in that process. One of the things that I've gotten asked a lot about in the last you know, week or so as I've been sharing with you about this Grand Water Trine is what do I do? How do I attend to this healing? What's my next step? Mercury is going to be engaged in this process and he's going to do all the work for you. It's going to be presented to you. Your job is to be mindful, to be moving slowly enough through your world in terms of your reactivity and your responses to things to be aware. Mercury's going to help. Just keep your eyes open, maybe your mouth shut, your hands on your heart, and breathe deep and allow for the information to reveal itself to you and trust in the process that your emotional healing is what's on tap. And I send you many blessings on the way.